Welcome to today's episode of Outside Fun, where we'll be learning how to make chicory coffee. Now this right here is a chicory plant, and right away you'll notice that the flowers are light blue in color, and they're very unique looking. Chicory is considered a root, uh, sorry, a weed, and it grows in many dry areas, dry fields, roadsides, and even between the cracks of sidewalks. And these flowers I filmed on a rainy day, and you'll see that they're kind of crinkled up a little bit, but on a sunny day, the flower will actually open all the way up. And here you see some chicory leaves, and they look very similar to dandelion leaves. Here are a couple of chicory stems, and uh, they're very tough, and you'll find it hard to break them with your hand. Now to make chicory coffee, you'll need the root, and to take a root out of the ground, my favorite tool to use is my knife here, which has special teeth on the back to make it easier to cut through the soil. Now I dug up about uh, half a dozen chicory roots, and I laid them out on the ground here just to show you what they look like. And in a moment I'm going to take them, wash them up, and cut them into smaller pieces. Now back when coffee was just starting to be popular, uh, the lower class couldn't afford to drink coffee. And so what they did is they took the chicory root and made coffee out of, the, out of it for themselves because it was a cheap alternative. And so to this day, chicory root coffee is also known as poor man's coffee. Now I've got my little ni knife out here and I'm trying to cut through the root, but I did find it to be quite woody, so I ended up having to switch to a bigger knife to chop it up. So there you go, my, there's my machete, and uh, it did a pretty good job. Now in a previous video of mine, I made coffee from dandelion root, and I did find the dandelion roots to be easier to work with. They are easier to slice up, I didn't have to work so hard. Uh, the chicory root is quite woody, at least in my experience. But I am excited to try this chicory coffee, and just to compare it in flavor to the dandelion coffee that I've made in the past. And uh, so I washed the roots up here, and they're all nice and clean, ready to chop up into smaller chunks. There you go. I'm going to take these smaller pieces now and put it into uh, this campfire here and set it on the coals for about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, basically until the pieces turn a nice black color, but not too black. And here's a closer look at the chicory root uh, once it's been roasted. And uh, I am cheating a little bit here because I am using electricity to grind the roots up. But if you're in a survival situation, the best thing you can do is wrap it up in a cloth or a t-shirt and grind it between two heavy rocks. And I recommend uh, about a tablespoon and a half uh, of chicory coffee for every cup of water. And there you go, the grounds look very similar to coffee grounds. And I'm using this coffee filter here to filter hot water through. And uh, you'll see it, it'll come out looking very similar to coffee. And again, if you're in a survival situation, you won't have a coffee filter on you, of course. And so again, using a t-shirt is probably your best bet for a, for a filter. Now, uh, I did enjoy the chicory coffee quite a bit. It tasted very good, better than I expected. I did find it a little more bitter than dandelion coffee. And here's a here's some chicory coffee with some cream in it, which I, I really enjoyed. But anyways, um, 
try it for yourself. I liked both dandelion coffee and chicory coffee. And if you liked today's video and you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.